Okay. All right, so we have a meal with us because for whatever reason, when I close my room door, whether or not she had plans on coming in here, she cries when I close the door. So she's in here because my son is right outside this door playing his games on his phone and it's very loud. But it is Sunday <clears throat> and um, Why'd I still drink it? Okay. It is Sunday. It's about to be one o'clock and I woke up for about the fourth time today and I decided that I need to get out of this house. I need to go and do something. I usually have a routine. I've tried to come up with a Sunday routine, a morning routine, a night routine, but with this program, being in 68 Charlie, you don't get that opportunity, okay? It's just too hectic. It's too much going on, especially with COVID and everything, the changes on the whim. It is honestly, no, you're just not gonna be able to find a routine. So I kind of been losing my mind because I'm a routine type of person. I like a schedule, I like a routine, I like being very organized with my day. Otherwise, I just lose out on a lot of time. I have these notebooks that I carry around everywhere. I actually just got this one. And you know how much I love notebooks. So this one says, find joy in the journey, which is super cute. And I only use one page in it so far. Like I just got it a few days ago. And then I have this one that I've been using for probably the past three-ish months. Yeah, so I have a lot of stuff in this one. I'm actually almost done with this one so far. But just know, if you see me without these notebooks, I'm probably losing my mind because I don't know what I'm doing. Today I decided that I need to get out of the house. I need to try to get somewhere where I'm not thinking so much. When I'm in a house, I notice I think and the more I think about certain things, you know, with like personal issues and stuff that I'm just trying to deal with, I get super stressed out and I feel like I'm super depressed and then my body starts to shut down and then I just sleep. So I notice that when I'm home, I sleep for hours. How does your body respond to your stress? Mine, it just puts me to sleep. My mind just goes and goes and goes into the point I'm super tired, I'm on my phone trying to figure stuff out. I'm writing notes, I'm making budgets, I'm making to-do lists, and then next thing you know, I'm dead tired, and then I have to go to sleep. I just woke up again. So I got dressed, I got me a dress, she's right here. Say hi. So I got us a dress, um, my son's out right outside of my room with his very loud phone playing on his game. That's why I had to come in here and close the door. But I think what we're about to do is I'm going to finish putting some clothes and stuff in the laundry. I have to go and clean my car because it is absolutely disgusting. And I still have not found some people that can clean it for me. So I guess I'm gonna have to do it again myself. And then I think we're gonna go probably get something to eat and just unwind because it's been, um, it's, it hasn't been a stressful Sunday so far, but my mind is just doing a little too much today. I don't understand why I can't just calm the noise that's in here right now. So. We're gonna get outside because that usually helps. I even had a migraine earlier and I think I just need some caffeine. Y'all, your girl's dressed. There's no candies, boo boo. I uh, might bring some fun snacks or something. I was thinking about it. Dang. Uh, is there a car wash over by the Starbucks? Let's try it. Let's try the Starbucks. I'm trying to think. Where was I at when I went to that freaking car wash? I the one where we was out there for like two hours? Mm, no. I think that's, yeah, probably. And there were people out there before us and left, and then people came <laughs> after us and left, and we were still there. That's because I don't know how to clean my car. <laughs> <laughs> What? That be and you're the beast so stupid if we tore the vacuum. I was just gonna do that to it. If we tore the vacuum cleaner and went in there. Uh, which way am I going? I think it's I like how we both ain't got our glasses. I got my glasses. I kinda figured we both say that. I got my glasses right here. Yeah, I, got my face, uh, <laughs> I can't see where my glasses. Okay, let me just find Wait, we can go. There's a car wash right there, but. Yeah. 
Baby, put your arms. What? How did you? Ah, you're not stuck. You in a car seat where you're supposed to be. <laughs> put your arms in. Oh, you want me to roll your window up? You just said. I think you do it. <laughs> <laughs> So, it's a little bit later and we came home. Um, we went to clean the car. So the car's clean, it's ready for the week. It's not all that, it's not as clean as it can be. It's been cleaner. But again, I can't find someone to actually clean it, like, like detail it, like really clean it. So I'm gonna have to do that a little bit later. We went to get some food. I just stopped at Whataburger. So I wanted to see if it was going to live up to the hype or not. And honestly, it was all right. It, like, don't even know why I thought it was. It's not all that. It's not how me people are trying to make it seem. Now, the chicken strips, those are really good. I just might Uber Eats or something like that of some of those later. Those are really good. I ended up buying the um chicken strip kids meals for the kids and then i got me a melt which the melt wasn't bad it, it's not bad okay it's not it's it was actually pretty good but it wasn't how people were trying to make it seem it wasn't that good we tried to find a park to go to because i've been looking for a park something you know and unfortunately everything is so closed down so they have the they have the parks and stuff open but they have yellow tape around the actual play set areas and stuff like that. I could have went to one of the parks that had a little hiking trail, but unfortunately I had on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh huh. But I had on. Um, okay. But I had on uh, sandals, so I wasn't able to. I mean, I didn't want to go and walk and hike in some, like, sandals. And my sister had on some sand. It just wasn't going to work. Um, so, right now, I am just sitting here. I went and got my cheesecake. I actually bought this cheesecake from Walmart. But I like to put it into a mason jar and put it in the fridge. Because it tastes way better when it's, like, crumbled up and cold. And I'm just doing some laundry. So, I have this laundry over here that I just took out of the dryer that's, it's going to get folded eventually probably not in the next hour or so but at some point today it's going to get folded and then i put my uniforms for this coming week in the washer so my pts my um, ocps stuff like that i genuinely wanted to do something more exciting but i guess this is fine too uh, who knows and I'm not sure if I showed you guys my little work area just yet, but I finally found the mirror that I wanted from Walmart. And then I have just this desk that I had from the house. I keep my iPad over here. I found this plant, I think, at Walmart. I've been had this. I think I got this from Walmart like a few years back as well. And this chair. Honestly, pretty much all of this stuff came from Walmart. Everything except that cup in this picture came from Walmart. I just have this regular uh, chair. I don't know what kind of chair you would call this, but I just throw this little throw on top of it and it's pretty comfortable. You have these little pocket, like I guess desk area in there that I keep all my papers and stuff in. So it's a pretty, it's pretty convenient. I'm just waiting to get an actual computer because again, this one broke my laptop because she stood on top of it and the entire screen shattered 
and she had the audacity to try to look shocked but yeah so this is my little work area right next to my bed so it's, it's cute So I passed my ninth test. The test that they say is like super hard because it's like mainly math. Um, it wasn't hard. I won't. It like if you if you can get down dimensional analysis because that's the form, that's the formula I use. Um, Sergeant Mann, he's the NCO that teaches us our pharmacology. He's the instructor for pharmacology, and he teaches so good he's such a good teacher but um yeah it wasn't hard at all if you can get down a formula once it clicks you got it i got a 90 i could have gotten a higher score but i won't lie some of those questions towards the end i just guessed on because the computers are starting to crash so they're moving like super slow right now so it was taking two minutes to skip to the next question and i'm like look um i've been sitting here for over an hour already and i'm ready to go i have to Stuff. I have to go and find my battles so I can see how they did as well. Oh, my stomach is killing me. And I should take these chips. I'm gonna take these chips. But yeah, so so far so good. Like I said, I will be passing that last test, and um, I'll see you guys after I get out of class. I feel like today's about to be a long day though. Pass the test, that's good, but I feel like today is about to be a long day yeah I really just let my car start running out of gas like I don't have not a lick of gas in this car <laughs> look at that there's absolutely no reason I let something like this happen what is wrong with me get that empty and i would have been so mad if i would have stopped on the interstate i need to pay more attention i'm holding this phone i have this thing and i can easily just put the phone like up there but now i don't have time i'm about to go home anyway i'm kind of mad because i definitely did not clean my room last night or <laughs> or this morning um minus this stuff i just took off this uniform these are my PT, so I have to pick that up and wash it anyway. So that's kind of normal. But, like, you got Mia's blanket over here. I guess my boots minus those as well. But then you got all this stuff over here. I don't know why Darion's swim trunks are right here. It's just the bed not made. I like coming home to a clean room, and I don't know why I let this happen. I got all this stuff from over here because I was moisturizing Mia's hair. It's just, like, what? And then this freaking camera... I should have been charging this the entire time. See, now I'm just going to have to continue to use my phone because now this needs to be charged. My after work outfit is in full effect. Actually, am I? Hold on, I'm missing something. Okay. Now it's in full effect. This is my after work outfit right here. I mean, I just have to own some earrings. But other than that, this is it right here, right there. rushing i didn't even realize it but i came home smelling like straight gasoline um i accidentally dripped like a bunch of gasoline on my pants leg and i'm like where in the world is this coming from i know i was careful but i guess i ended up dripping a lot on me because it's all over my pants leg <laughs> these clothes. 
clothes and it's crazy it smells like straight gasoline i don't know how i got this much gasoline on myself my goodness okay that's in a way that's in my way oh my I forgot all about these clothes and usually what is that? I have these little I think they're like salamander things that run around. I don't know. They used to be scary, but now I'm not scared. But I thought I took these out of here already. I guess I didn't. I just where do my mind be? I changed my leggings put these on instead more comfortable and honestly more flattering on me because I'm not jiggling all over the place but there's apparently a food truck that's out by the office of the par apartments and um my wallet is it anywhere here it's probably in a car but I want to go and see what the food court has before I have to cook something they said they have like chicken burgers and stuff like that. So hopefully it's something that's actually good. Hey guys, so I'm back on my camera and finally charged. So we just got back from the little food truck that was out in the front of the complex. And I have to admit, it was really fun. I had a really good time. The food was expensive for a plain burger and a few fries, like literally meat, cheese, and a bun was $10. So it was kind of expensive. So it was really fun. Like the whole neighborhood was out there. They had their dogs and stuff out there. It was really fun. I really liked it. And when I get that email, when the food trucks are out there again, I'm definitely going to probably head out there again. It was a nice experience. So I'll spend that money <laughs> on some food for the experience. And I don't have to cook tonight. So it's a bonus. It's a it's a it's a win-win situation. But my food though. I got the guac attack. I didn't get a chance to really look at the menu when it was my turn to get up there. I hadn't decided on what I wanted to eat yet. And so I panicked and I was like, uh, I'll just take this because my sister wanted this so I'm like I'll just take what she got so I'm not 100% sure that this is what I actually wanted but it has guacamole on it cheese look like he threw some fries on there a tomato and honestly and I'm gonna go ahead and take that off because I don't I don't like tomatoes these fries are really good I already tasted them these fries are really good they're really seasoned there she go go sit down go sit down and eat your food it's okay go sit down and eat your food <laughs> but yeah so this burger actually looks really good i don't know what kind of bun this is but i i'm gonna like this but yeah i'm about to go ahead and enjoy this food and watch american dad just chill before i start studying again for this test Hey guys, editing Andrea here. I am editing this video and I realized that I did not close this thing out at all. I have been hitting my head and cracking up even trying to edit this thing because it's like all over the place. I know, I know it's all over the place. I'm still getting used to vlogging, bear with me. But I just wanted to come on and say if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, make sure you leave them down below. And also subscribe. Today is May 31st, so I'm just finishing up editing this video because I want to get it up today. And tomorrow is June 1st. Not only is it test 10, it's the last test, but it's my birthday. June 1st, yes, I'm about to be 28 years old, yes not doing nothing for it probably won't even like do anything at all I usually make a, at least a post don't know if that's going to happen yet but again like comment make sure you subscribe especially if you are wanting to see that overview i told you guys in my last video that i was going to post an overview after i pass 
the last test, a whole overview of 68 Charlie AIT. If you are interested in that, don't forget to subscribe so you do not miss it when I upload it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. For the record, don't try and make y'all comfortable. Right. For the record, you ain't trying to grow them stuff for you. Right. For the record, lab on me going all the way. All the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to waste. For the record.